What's up, Greg? I hope you're all having a great day. Welcome back to my channel. This, of course, is another episode of Now You See Me. Now you see me, still, because I never left. Today, we're gonna be talking about my favorite Instagram magician, Luca G. Galone. Or maybe it's Luke Hug. Alone, or maybe it's Luca Gugalone. I'm just gonna call him Luca. <laughs> I found this guy's profile recently. He almost has a million followers on Instagram, and he sort of hangs out with other UK based Instagram comedians, but he himself is a magician slash comedian. And I thought, huh, that's kind of a refreshing thing to see on Instagram, you know, with everybody trying to be funny with these relatable jokes all the time. It's kind of nice to see somebody switching it up and employing a little bit of magic comedy. As many children do, I did go through a magic tricks phase when I was a kid. Uh, actually, it was when I was in high school and it lasted for longer than I'd like to admit. It was actually pretty fun learning the tricks. It was a good way to pass the time and annoy my friends. But I never got anywhere near as good at magic tricks as Luca. Also, quick note, if you didn't see the last video, I'm going on tour. Drew Gooden and I have written a live comedy show that we're gonna be taking around the country. It's gonna be me and him and Curtis Connor traveling around the nation, giving a good laugh to everybody who wants one. And we just added more cities, so if you live near one of these cities, or any of the other cities we've announced so far, click the link in the description to get your tickets. Okay, now let's get into the video. Watch this! Ah! Ah! Oh, my God! Ah! oh, holy shit, he's flying! Ah! He's done it, he's figured it out, he's the first person to learn how to fly. Ah! Oh, wait a second! Don't stop me this! <laughs> Do not stop me this! You are a liar! Oh, wait. Oh, he was just... It was just a trick. Damn. But it looked so real! And he looked so natural doing it. Floating three inches off the ground and using a jacket to cover up his legs. <laughs> I think I've seen the same version of like a floating person magic trick before and it's always confused me because it looks so weird and unnatural. Like why is he holding his jacket over his legs? It looks like he has something to hide. <laughs> Imagine if this dude really could levitate, like if he was the first person to ever learn how to fly and everyone's amazed, but then it turns out that he can only float like three inches off the ground and he has to hold his jacket over his legs to do it for some reason. Everyone would be like, holy shit, you're doing it. You're floating. Why? Why are, you, why are you holding your jacket like that? I don't understand. You, ha you have to do that? And you can only float that high? Oh. <laughs> you know what? It's actually not as cool as I thought. I mean, this is still like a monumental historic moment, but it's not very cool. Now, being that Luca is part Instagram magician and part Instagram comedian, he often finds himself in these wacky, zany situations that he uses magic to get himself out of. Like in this video, he's such a smooth and slick magician that he uses his magic abilities to get himself out of getting a parking ticket. Is that a uh, parking ticket? What? What for? Parking, mate. <laughs> I've literally been here for five minutes. It's private property, mate. You can't just come and park your car here. Let me show you something. So I'm actually a magician. I know we've got off to a bad start, but let's just let's try this little trick. Take your parking ticket. Watch. One little blow, it turns into a 50 pounds. No, you keep the 50. We call it quits. You're all right. Get, just, just get in the car and go. All right, all right. See you later. I like how this parking officer is just wearing like jeans and a t-shirt and this reflective vest that has clearly just been taken out of the packaging because it's still creased like it was folded up in a box. Also, I don't know how parking tickets work across the pond over in the UK, but do you get parking tickets for parking on private property? I thought you can only get parking tickets from parking on the street. That's why they give you a ticket. And if you're parked on private property, the person who owns the property would just call a towing company. They don't call like the public parking office to come give you a ticket and then just and then your car just stays there anyways but all that is besides the point that's not my real gripe with this video my real gripe with this video is that it's called how to escape a parking ticket with magic and they never explain how to escape a parking ticket with magic i mean for god's sakes i don't feel like i learned anything from this video the steps were like walk up to the parking attendant tell him you don't want the ticket do a magic trick and then drive away. I just kind of feel like they skipped over the most important step because I don't know how to do the magic trick. Overall, bad tutorial, zero out of 10. Also, if I was the parking attendant, I think I'd just be like, why did you need to do the magic trick? I just, I would have taken the bribe. Why did you have to tell me all about your magic tricks and do a magic trick when you clearly just had 50 pounds that you could have given me from the start. I actually feel less inclined to take the bribe now that you've wasted my time with your weird magic. That's the weird thing about magicians, and I feel like especially this guy, they're like so eager. They're just like chomping at the bit to do a magic trick. So if you mention anything even remotely related to any of the tricks they know, they'll just be like, it's funny that you should bring up playing cards actually, because uh, I didn't. 
I said I need to get a card for my aunt. She's in the hospital. Well, if you need a card, why don't you just look in your pocket? What the fuck are you talking about? Oh my god. Really? The five of hearts? How's that for cards? Thank you, everybody. Have a good night. My aunt is really sick. Funny you should bring up being sick. Okay, no, 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 no. No more, please. Pen and my eye. Watch this. Two together and... Ooh, what's he gonna do? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. No. <laughs> Oh, no, why the fuck would he do that? Ah! Oh, he stabbed himself in the eye with a pen. Ah! Now look at him. He's got milk pouring out of his eye. Just like a real eye. Full of milk. Uh, that's why your parents always tell you to drink milk. Because your eye is made out of milk. And full of milk. And is milk. Ah! 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 Oh, it was just a creamer. It was just cream. Not eye milk. Okay, this does seem pretty dangerous though. Like if the pen had slipped or if it had gone through the back of the creamer, it could have really stabbed him in the eye or the face. And then he'd look like a real idiot, wouldn't he? He'd have creamer coming out of the cream cup and then he'd have milk coming out of his eye, real eye milk this time. That's another thing about magicians I never got. They always want to make people think they're insane. They're like, hey, I'm gonna stab myself in the fucking eye. David Blaine's always like putting things through his arm and shit. Make people freak out. It's just kind of weird to have a profession where you want everyone to think you're insane. Ah! When I was in my magic tricks phase, I used to just do card tricks. I didn't really fuck with magic tricks like this because I didn't want to be like the boy who cried wolf. So I just feel like someday this dude's actually going to stab himself in the eye and he's going to be like, ah, fuck dude. Ah, Jesus. Oh, fuck. I really got myself in the eye this time. Oh, wait, is this part of the trick? No, no, dude. I really stabbed myself this time. Okay, but that's what you said last time. And when I tried to help you, you started laughing at me and called me an idiot. I know, I know, I know, but I really did it this time, dude. I really did it for real. Quick, pull it out. Oh, I get it. I'm going to pull it out and then attach to the end of it's going to be like my card or something. You're not fooling me this time. Mixed up Rubik's Cube. Guys, I'm going to solve this cube behind my back. Watch closely. Here we go. Just takes me a few seconds and solved! Oh, wow. oh, How'd you do that? Oh, God. that that's some, your back. some serious yeah. skills, guys. Luca, you sneaky little rat. You sneaky little devil, you. Okay, this one I might have actually believed was real and he really fooled them, except for a few key details. First off, everybody's acting in this video is terrible. Just takes me a few seconds. Just takes a few seconds. Like the way they all react when he holds up the Rubik's Cube. Oh, wow. oh, 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 Everybody's like trying to touch the Rubik's Cube like they don't think it's real like that's the fake part of it Wait a minute. It's probably just a hologram. Let me touch it But the thing that really clued me into the fact that this is fake right away is that the cameraman Isn't filming the dude's hands when he's supposed to be doing the Rubik's Cube He's like filming the guy under the table and like maybe the people wouldn't notice that although I feel like they would they'd be like wait Why is the cameraman filming over there? But after he does the trick the cameraman's like "Ha, oh, we fooled them and then pans back over to the guy under the table Who's just like smiling and giving a thumbs up wouldn't everybody be like wait? What is he filming over there? What's going on over there? I mean, maybe not they all seem so infatuated with the Rubik's Cube and Luca that maybe they wouldn't notice two Cups of water. We're gonna make all the water from both cups disappear. Wow. Okay, in this trick, he tells his friend, this is uh, another Instagram comedian. His name is GoobTube, or maybe it's JubeTube. I've heard it. I've heard his name pronounced both ways, I think. Uh, so I'm just gonna call him JubeTube. So he tells Jube to hold the cup over his head, and he's gonna make the water in both cups disappear. Close your eyes. We're gonna turn around. Ah, the mark of all good magic tricks, telling the audience to close their eyes. Isn't that like the biggest cop-out a magician could do? All right, everybody, for my last trick, I'm going to make myself disappear on the count of three. Ready? One, two, and close your eyes. And three. Did it work? One, and two. And open your eyes. Go on, go on. Oh, Luca, you little sneak. You got him so good. And then he just fucking pushes him into the pool. That's kind of cool. That's kind of a badass magician move. Like after you're done doing the magic trick, you just fucking push them. That's right. I just blew your mind. 
And now I'm gonna hurt, I'm now I'm gonna beat your ass. That would be tight. That would be pretty cool, honestly. Big power move. So this whole thing is staged, obviously. Because how would he not hear Luca pouring a, an entire cup of water into the pool behind him? And also when he gets pushed, he just kind of jumps back. He doesn't really get pushed. He kind of just whee into the pool. I don't know, guys. I don't want to say it, but. I'm starting to think all of his videos might be fake. Maybe Luca's not as good of a magician as I thought. Now, in truth, the real reason that I wanted to make this video, and I think the real story of this video, isn't really about Luca or his magic tricks, but it's about his audience, the people that he does his magic tricks for. Because while Luca's magic tricks are bad, I think that the only thing dumber than Luca's magic tricks are the people that he does the tricks for. Like his friend Jube, for example. You remember Jube, the guy who just jumped into the pool. Whee! Take a look at this trick that Luca does for his friend Jube. So he's pretending to make ketchup disappear. He really just puts it behind his head, and then his friend takes the ketchup and puts it in Jube's fries. All the way <laughs> over there! <laughs> Jube is amazed. He's astounded. It seems as though he's actually having a <laughs> deeply spiritual an enlightening moment. He's laughing hysterically. He's never seen anything like this before. <laughs> Kind of a really strong reaction for a pretty simple trick. One that I've actually done for my four-year-old niece before, and she figured out how I did it right away. I can't blame him too much for not getting it at first. Everybody has different comprehension levels, I understand that. And Luca is a really good magician, so that's fair. But then there's another video of Luca doing the exact same trick to Jew, just with sunglasses, and he still doesn't get it. And this time, he's like even more excited about it. <laughs> 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 it's just such a simple trick. Why is he so amazed by it? I mean, I feel like Jube is the type of person where like when the sun comes up in the morning, he's like, Whoa, holy shit, it did, that thing did it again. There it goes. I thought yesterday was the last time for sure, but there it goes. And then there's this guy, Dr. Sango. That's his name, or at least that's his name on Instagram. I don't know what his PhD is in, uh, but if I had to guess, I would say overreacting to magic tricks. So there's this video of Luca doing the exact same trick to him. They're in a McDonald's again. I don't know why a lot of their videos are in McDonald's. Like I think over half of their magic trick videos are in this exact McDonald's. But anyway, he does the same trick where he like takes a chicken nugget, he puts it behind his head. The friend takes it, puts it on the other side and uh, let's see how he reacts. <laughs> No, 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 no. I'm going home. Yep, that's right. He tricked him so hard that he had to go home. <laughs> Dr. Sango really worries me because Luca has done this exact trick to him probably like 20 times in different videos and he's never gotten it. Whoa! <laughs> no, no, Jesus! Every time he's just so amazed and he can't figure out how it works. No, 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 no. Life must be so frustrating for this guy if he can't even figure out how this trick works. Especially since there's so many videos that Luca has posted to his Instagram of him doing this exact trick to Dr. Sango. You'd think that he would see the videos and realize how the trick is being done to him, but I guess he sees it and still is amazed by it, even watching the person put the chicken nugget around his head, because every time he's just <laughs> amazed. And he yells blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus! I don't know why that's his thing. He yells it in every video. Blood of Jesus! Kind of like his catchphrase. I just kind of feel bad for him. Maybe he's the one that keeps making Luca do the trick for him so he can try to figure it out. He's like, do it again, come on. Let's see it. Now you're gonna do the trick, and I'm gonna look in the same exact spot I always do, and maybe I'll figure it out. The weird thing is, Luca uses this trick so much, I feel like I get deja vu every time I see it again. It's almost like he's posting the exact same videos multiple times on his page. Oh wait, he does do that, also. Oh. So Luca mostly does magic and like funny magic, but he does dabble occasionally in purely comedic Instagram comedy. And when I say dabble, I really mean dabble. Dabble, to take part in an activity in a casual or superficial way. Like this video called Called, why are girls like this? Is this facts or nah? Can someone please tell me if this is facts or nah? These two girls are at McDonald's, obviously, and they have this sign that says single. You know, as girls do. When girls are single, they carry around a sign that says single. That's just how girls are. So, so far I can tell that this one is facts, and two is going to be very funny. Hey, it seems like fucking then our boy Luca comes up and gives them a nice compliment. He says, ladies, you, you're looking beautiful today. And then they flip around their sign and it says, taken. Whoa. <laughs> 
Oh my god, he's so sad. Look how sad he is. Someone get this man an Oscar. He's clearly sad. And that's the end of the video. That's the end. That's the joke. And that's the tea. The first time I watched this video, I thought that they were flipping around the sign to say taken because they were like, all right. You've complimented us, and now I guess we're dating. You have told us that you think we're beautiful, we've talked it over, and now we're both your girlfriends. But then he cried and walked away, and I was like, dude, you're ruining your chance! You've got two hot girlfriends here, and you're just gonna leave crying? But then I realized that they're actually just telling him to fuck off, and... Honestly, I think I like my interpretation better. Either way, Girls really are this way. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I would love to see you guys on tour. So if you want to get tickets to one of our comedy shows, get that in the link in the description. Also, if you're new here and you're not Greg yet, make sure you subscribe and turn on my notifications to join Greg. We're the fastest growing army on the internet. And that is a fact that you should not look up. Thank you to Kiana Provost for turning on my notifications. You are truly Greg. I'll see you guys next time with a really interesting video where I put on a hundred shirts and then I look like a big ball of shirts. Bye. This video is over now. Yeah. Over now. Go find something else to watch. Or just watch this video. I again. know we had a lot of fun. Yeah. A lot of fun. Woo. But you can't stay on this end screen forever. No. This video is over now. Yeah. Over now. So why are you still watching this? Do you not have any